Hello everyone, how is everyone doing? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. Let's get on today's video session. Here we go. Roll music as always. So today's video is about game controllers. Yeah, game controllers. It's about two game controllers that are available for the mobile market. They look very different to each other you wouldn't find these kind of controllers or specifically one controller on the consoles or PCs you'll not find anything like that on the PC or the console scene one of them is very different it's the way just the way the mobile devices are made okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you a smartphone and a tablet not how to operate how are you supposed to be playing on these devices what's the style of them one of them is the ipega 9023 you probably heard of that controller right This is the controller I'm talking about. This is the one. Let's take a look at this control pipe. I know it got all the usual thumbsticks, face buttons, and the D-pad, and some media control buttons here, and shoulder buttons at the top, don't it? But we also have a, a mechanism at the back which locks it, yeah? How it comes out. That is because it actually stretches it from 5 inch to 10 inch, okay? And when you're happy with the size you want to do, you get this switch here and you lock it. And it locks. But I'm not really concerned about that, what he's doing, because I think everyone has seen that. These, this type of controller, I don't know if anyone's actually specified this on the YouTube videos. This is one of them controllers where it's in a handle mode. Okay? Handle mode. handle more well, so what you do you get the control pad place it in your hand and you play like this can you see what it is it's one of them landscape kind of controller where you place your eye down on the controller and you play it like this 
I will actually demonstrate here a bit for you so you understand a bit more what I'm trying to say. So this part in the middle, anything from a smartphone and tablet, five to ten inch can go in there. We know there's no smartphone up to ten inch. They have Prox 6.4, but this controller is mind-blowing, man. You also find out why. Why I like this controller, yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at this. This phone's a bit small, so it can't slip out. Just gonna watch it. Right. So what happens? Look at this. See that? Now this controller makes your smartphone smartphone into a handle device. Take a look at that. Just take a look at that. So what happens now? So we got the phone in the middle and now we can enjoy the game. Play like this. Just like that. It's just amazing, isn't it? So we can play any game. We're going to handle the voice and landscape mode. This phone is not compatible with Bluetooth controllers. It's a very old phone, yeah, so it does not work at all. That's why I'm not bothering with this phone. I'm showing you how it works. So if you're looking for a phone that you want to work with this controller, it needs to be Bluetooth in there, okay? So you need to activate Bluetooth. And what you do on the controller, right? You press the X, right? The X over here. Over here. And the home button over here. When you press both of them, it gets activated. So this is a smartphone which can be played like a handheld mode right so I've got another device which is a 7 inch tablet okay 7 inch now again same this is amazing thing right so if you want to put that tablet in here you need to unlock that okay stretch this a bit that's it and then what you do get this clip open okay because it's to hold it at the bottom otherwise it'll drop Look at that. Okay. When you're happy. You're happy with that. All right. Once it's placed in, so what you do here, let's press in. See? Now it is locked in place. Look at that. Real handled. Real handle now, isn't it? This one is comparable to play your games. There you go. So it turns into a handheld machine. Look at that. So what you do, you hold it in your hand like that. And you play it. Just like that. There you go. So that's one of the controllers right which you can enjoy your landscape gaming with if we look at this controller right it's not made for tabletop okay it's made for a handheld 
mode which you place your smartphone tablet in the middle and you just game my like this okay that's what this controller is actually made for that's what it's built for okay but if you want a controller right that you want to take your smartphone on the go and you want a game on it you need one of these You guessed it right. This is a MOGA Pro Power gaming controller. Right. This controller, you pick up the lever all the way up to the end. Like that. You see that? And now this thing will lift up. Check this out. See that? It lifts up. So if your phone's a bit larger, in terms of height, you can put a phone in there, a bigger size one. You could put a phone from 4.0 up to 6 inch. It's very easy to place. Okay, you get your phone like that. Hold on, you get it like that. And that's it. But that doesn't really make it like a handle, does it? Not in terms of land, landscape, is it? It's more like a laptop, isn't it? It's like a laptop style. But if you look at iPega, you get a landscape handheld mode. This I will call not a landscape. It is not landscape. How can it be landscape? Because the buttons would have been here, wouldn't it? The iPega buttons are here. If you look at that controller, that's a proper handled mode controller. Now this controller is more like a laptop, isn't it? Look at this. Look, it is a laptop. You have a screen at the top and you have buttons at the bottom, don't you? In mind you have a, a laptop, really. This is good as well if you want a game like this. So you could take, take the thing outside. It's more portable, this is, than the iPad, I would say. And then you can game on like this. You can start playing on with your smartphone on it. Which you've got this adjustment one. Okay. And two. Okay, there you go. And then you can actually game on it. Like that. So there you go, you can get money. Fabulous, isn't it? So this has got like two thumbsticks, these buttons, start and select. There's a little shoulder buttons see brilliant now if you want to use a tablet on this thing first of all this is very easy to take off check this out just slip it from the bottom of this that's all you do but if you want a longer you can actually look like this look at this see you can put a longer one there there you go so to, in order to play a tablet, you put this down. Okay, look at this. Like that. Now you got yourself a proper controller. Okay, so what you do here, let's check this out from here. You got one of these tablets. You place it in front of you like that on the stand or something. If I can sh actually demonstrate this, probably I able and won't able to do it. So if you got one of these tablets like that, you place it on a stand and then you use a game controller 
I need to stop playing on it. I actually can't show you because it's too, it's too low. Hold on. I can just demonstrate this properly for you guys. I actually couldn't. So you just place this in the stand. And then you know what? So like if your tablets, whatever it is, you could put it there and you know, and you can start playing with it. Just like that. You can start game on it. Like that. You can start playing your game on it. Just like that. It's like a tabletop mode, isn't it? So you can put place your tablet on the stand. And yeah, and you can start gaming on it. That's all it is really. So you've got this for tabletop experience. You could take this thing on the go, put your smartphone in there. Or it, with a mobile controller, you do get a stand. You can use that stand and make your tablet stand. And, and you can actually play on it. Actually, you know what? I'll actually just show you the stand you get with um, with the MOGA game controller. Just hold on because you do actually get one like that. It is pretty, pretty neat what it is. Just hold on. Right, so sorry about that. Okay, so in, this is a Mocha game controller box. I need to unbox, unbox or something. Quickly, just show you the stand. So, this is the Moga. Tablet stand. Okay. See, it stands like that. So, what are you doing here? If you look at the two things sticking out, you place your tablet onto the front. See that you place it like that and it will stand. And that's all it is. And once you put down a stand, you can use the game controller and you can start gaming on it. Now I'll do my best if I can actually show you this. But don't think I could. Yeah, it's impossible to do that, really. I wish I could show it to you, but just, just see. There you go. On the stand, you can see it's just a stand, just about. Just hold on, if I can move around a bit. I'm doing my best to show you this. So, see there you go, you could place on the stand like that and then you get the controller and you play on it like that. You can see the stands on there, see? Let me show you properly, see? If you look very carefully underneath the tablet goes on top of the long little things are sticking out. Can you see what's happening? So it goes on there. Mm. 
and that's it and you start gaming on your tablet just like that so yeah you have two types of controllers and you can game on them so you got You got a tabletop one, which is a MOGA Pro Power Game Controller, and then you got the handheld mode one, which is the iPega 9023. Both of these controllers are useful, it depends how you want to game on it, but I would recommend both of them really because this. Moga Pro Power Game Controller is a console type game controller, isn't it? To give you like a console type experience where you can put your phone on top and then you can put it on the stand and play in a tabletop mode. So, this is not made for handheld gaming if you want to play on them like that on the side, like that, where your system screen is in the middle and the controls the side. This is not the controller for that. But to do like that, because that's going up like that, isn't it? If you want experience, right, where, oops, not that side. You have your system right in the middle, and then you can game on this thing, just like a handheld gaming machine. So I hope this video has been useful for you guys, and it's made you a better understanding why there is two different controllers because they are made for two different mode Mogo Pro Power Game Controller for tabletop and iPega 9023 for handheld so I hope this video has been very useful for you give likes, comment, subscribe thanks for watching, bye for now